you guys already know how to get down in this channel and I got something to show you right here I have right here Charles Wilbur who obviously saw this thing before everybody he goes over to our friend Muhammad and we see what it says he called me to see a statue of a queen named Teddy's child it was found in the exact same location as they always said they found it so we know that's Teddy's child he goes on to describe it and then he goes on to say the face is not unpleasing because it looks like a white girl he then goes on to write that Muhammad says God heard his prayer and sent him something for the things that were taken from him and what does Charles tell him I told him to keep it till the right man came along and then he took a hundred pounds for it so you guys can see for yourself where he says to keep it till the right man came along which was obviously whoever was looking for a white Egyptian queen to fool everybody with I suppose the right man coming along was one of Charles's friends we all know it is so you guys can see right here for yourselves that their fakery goes deep and I will expose it. This is the alleged Queen Tedeshiri, Queen of Egypt, 17th Dynasty. They've known for a long time that this statue is fake, yet they continue to show it every single day, including right here on YouTube. First, we need to know that her mummy has never been found. They claim her mummy is believed to be among those in the royal cache found at DB320, which had about 46 alleged mummies of kings, queens, and royal officials from the 17th dynasty to the 22nd dynasty. But according to their same old story that they always tell, they believed it was removed from the original tomb and then reburied together secretly to protect it from the grave robbers and we all know that the only grave robbers are them one of the biggest problems facing egyptology today is the fact that they show a lot of fake ass statues a lot of forgeries a lot of this stuff it actually has no record of where it originally came from and so egyptology is most definitely one field where you can just come up with something and then just post it just put it in a museum there have been uh a few items found with this Tedeshiri's name on it, including this fake ass statue. And these were on display for years in the British Museum, but that was determined by W.V. Davies to be a fake statue. But in typical Eurocentric fashion, they now have a uh, damage control that they hire, pay them about $5 an hour to make up excuses like the statue itself is real, but the inscription on it is not, which is yet another figure eight that they throw at everybody to try and get out of everything. I already said on this channel that these guys, they change their story every single day. They're always coming up with something new. And you guys don't need me to tell you that. So the Eurocentrics, they love to just keep posting this thing. And I don't know why, because when I go and take a look at this thing at the British Museum, it clearly says forgery. Now, if they were not so sure about that, they wouldn't put it. And so they clearly keep putting a fake ass statue. We look at how much red is on the screen, how many question marks. Yet they continue to do it. I said British Museum, what is a forgery? The term refers to an object made with a deliberate attempt to deceive. Sound familiar black people? In fact, right here on the British Museum's website, I asked how many forgeries exist there. They said, 5,176. As for this so-called fake queen, she was purchased from the Luxor antiquities dealer Mohammed Mohasib in 1890. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about Mohammed. I guess that he was a hustler because he did a whole lot of selling fake Egyptian artifacts to these people. Here we get a picture of him in Egypt, probably holding one of his homemade artifacts. He was born in Luxor, possibly around 1843. He began his life as a donkey boy and served Lady Duff Gordon, who taught him to speak English. He got into the world of antiquities and opened his own shop in the 1880s. And you see what it says right here. Many important antiquities now in European collections passed through his business, although the items he traded included some notorious forgeries. And look at this even closer extensively used as a source of material by one E.A. Wallace Budge. So I just wanted to go over right now a clear example of a fake ass statue. They try to pretend that they don't make fake statues. 
I'm going to be getting on Never Sleepy very soon, which is another fake ass statue. And uh, they laugh at us to tell us, you know, I guess the moon is fake too. But let me tell you guys something. These people enjoy fake histories. That's why they come up with fairy tales. That's why they enjoy Lord of the Rings. That's why they're good at making comic books and animated movies in Hollywood. That's why they're always using the Matrix uh, quotes to tell them how woke they are. Because they enjoy fantasy stories and making up shit. But we're not going to let them get away with it. We, however, don't live in fantasy worlds. We can't afford to live in fantasy worlds. We got to keep it real.